Hey guys, quick no intro. So this is how you join our family here and this is how you do it. If you want to do it, check it out. Also, we're on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for the support. Peace. Exciting. Oh, I'm not gonna tell them that. Yeah. I, it was supposed to be a secret. It's a secret. It's a secret. Okay, I'll tell y'all soon. <laughs> Inshallah, I'll tell y'all soon. But uh, we sent the gifts for the hijab hoods. Yes, we did. Competition. Yeah, the giveaway. Um, we sent them today. We had three winners, and they we divided the goodie bag for those three sisters. Uh, actually, two of them in Norway and one sister in the UK. Yes. So that was exciting. They're excited. So am I. I can't wait for them to get it. And the giveaway from YouTube, we're still waiting for the sister to receive hers. It's, it's Black Friday, Christmas, everything. So pretty much everything is delayed. Yeah, I asked her today if she could check because from Norway, it says that it's left the country. So we don't have any new tracking since like december 5th uh, yeah so i told her like like maybe you can call like the company in england or something i don't know but we'll see we'll figure it out i like the post office was pretty full yesterday and today yeah yeah you had to wait what 45 minutes yep. just to send three small packages and everyone had small packages so oh, it, yeah. it was pretty fast but they A lot like of people that's yeah. how it is yeah that's how it is and uh yeah, it's hard to restrict myself because I wanted to talk about the thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's big secret. Big secret. secret. Exciting secret, inshallah. I'm so excited, honestly. Uh, lately, I've been reconnecting with my sisters uh, from the masjid. As y'all know, I left uh, the masjid that I used to be at uh, for reasons I will not disclose. But let's just say there was a lot of back and forth and a lot of un... What's that called? Disagreements. Disagreements. Yes. A lot of disagreements. Uh, and I didn't feel like a part of that family anymore. And all of these sisters that I started there with also left around the same time some before me some of the things i didn't even notice you know um and then i noticed after because the sisters alomabatic uh never told me because they didn't want to ruin my experience yeah not knowing that i felt the same way and wanted to leave as well but uh alomabatic uh we all we might all talk about it in a podcast together i asked them if they wanted to, like, we're not going to put it out there. Whoever knows, knows what masjid this is. But, um, yeah, if not, it's we're pretty, just, pretty known. Yeah, we're just going to talk. Yeah, everyone knows about the masjid. Like, uh, everyone knows that it's more, like, modern. Even my family knows about it. Even his, yo, this is the crazy part. Because this summer, we went to the cabin with your stepmom, your dad, Mm -hmm. Uncle, cousin, all that. So his stepmom, which is a Norwegian woman, yeah, was like, so remember the the mosque that you guys got married in? I was like, yeah. And then she was like, well, uh, I heard about that uh, from this girl at my job. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, she said that everyone says that that mosque is like modern and they're not really practicing like other mosques and i was like oh that's interesting and like that was like such a wake-up call for me because i was like if a norwegian random non-muslim woman who like doesn't have muslim friends but like there's one hijabi at her job yeah something like that yeah that mentioned that you know that's the first thing she mentioned after she said oh yeah my stepson got married in this mosque that we have a problem. And I remember that another masjid from the town that I grew up also called me at the time where I was very active there. I was like, yo, how can we talk to the people at the masjid? Because a lot of other masjids in other towns have concerns about the things that are going on. 
and like the same things kept happening and happening and i was like i can't stand for it i don't want to do this and i tried to to like fix things and talk to them and you know be like maybe we can do this maybe we can do that and then things started to you know affect me because of the way i dressed uh, i was deemed by other muslims to be extreme or to you know be a bad example because i wanted to wear niqab and niqab was not good for the image of the masjid and stuff like that mm. and that hurt me to the point where i was like well then i don't want to be a part of this place anymore even the girl that converted yeah there was a 16 year old that contacted me on instagram who i met in person we went to my husband and i went to a fun fair just uh, long story short we went to a fun fair we saw this really cute girl uh, two cute girls taking pictures of each other and i was like they look like they took really nice pictures so i went up to her and i was like yo you look like a great uh, uh picture taker can you take me and my husband's picture with like all these lights in the background she was like yes of course and then she like fully went down and like <laughs> did the whole like she Paparazzi. Took, yeah like perfect uh pictures and then i uh helped another sister take her shahada uh on tiktok and posted it on tiktok and that sister that girl who was a 16 year old filipino girl yes saw that video and then contacted me on instagram she was like hey this is crazy Uh, I don't know if you remember, but at the fun fair, you asked if I could take a picture of you and your husband. And I just saw a video of you uh, on TikTok helping a girl to uh, accept Islam. I wanted to accept Islam for a long time. I stopped eating pork. I started reading the Quran like over a year or whatnot. Can you please help me take the Shahada? And then like I was hysterical. I was like, oh my God, sister, like I got you. So I called the masjid. I was like, is it okay if I do it there? Uh, like I could do it somewhere else but like that would be good for y'all too uh and then they were like yeah sure like no problem and so i did and i put the video on youtube and then i get a phone call the next day like yo you shouldn't have done that she's 16 years old people are gonna say that we're like recruiting young girls and norwegian people are gonna be upset and da 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 and then i was like listen i can't take this anymore i'm yeah. being nitpicked at ciao I was getting nitpicked at and then I see because my husband was like you know what we're just gonna oh yeah oh, oh. I barely even want to say this part oh it like hurts me still still annoys me it, I think it, I have the screenshot still yeah it, for, for from that yeah. yeah it annoys me so much because uh okay whatever <laughs> but um, cliffhanger next episode no it's okay I'll <laughs> say it I'll say it The thing with the, um, the the last straw for us, kind of. Yes. Because, like, at this point, I was upset. And I was calling, like, different people from the masjid to, like... I was like, I don't know if I feel welcome anymore. Like, I feel like an outsider. I feel like... And then there was, like, talks like, oh, you're doing it for the sake of Allah. It's not because of, you know, anyone here that you're here. And I was like, well, there are other masjids. I we don't were need deemed, to be in this one. Yeah, we were deemed extreme. But yeah. at the other hand, we were the mascot, yeah. basically. Mascots, yeah. Because, yeah. like he said, on one hand, they were saying, oh, you dress extreme. Uh, you're You have a big platform now. Like, you, you're um, affecting girls in a negative way. You're promoting niqab. We will, we will never accept that. And they had some good reasons that i don't think are valid but the the arguments to why was basically the people want to take away y'all's hijab and by you wearing niqab and normalizing that you're making it harder a bigger pill for them to swallow and they're gonna take away y'all's hijab and it's gonna be because of people like you who wear niqab and that i was like mm, don't know No. So my husband was like, you know what? You've been crying for three days straight. I'm not having it. Let's go to their website right now and see if we can get out of this masjid and into another masjid. And I was like, you know what? Okay. So we go. <laughs> and on the front page of the masjid's homepage, www.com, 
Yes. Is a picture from Arnica. Not just a picture of me and my husband. No, no, no. A picture taken from my Instagram account, which is public, you know. A picture taken from my Instagram account of our whole extended family. Everyone that was Everyone. His stepmom, his mom, his dad, his brother, his sister. My sister, she would have like literally killed me. Yeah, dad too. Her, yeah, <laughs> her children, her newborn baby, my mom, my dad, my auntie, my cousins, everybody. The whole family. The biggest picture you've ever seen in your life on the front page. And just to like show diversity at the masjid, subhanAllah. And I was like... We discovered this in October. It had been there since January, since we got married. Yeah, probably the day after or something. Yeah, because I asked the one sister, I was like, did you know about this? She was like, yeah, but I thought y'all knew. Yeah. Nobody asked us. Somebody just put it up. And I called this one auntie at the masjid. I love her very much. We never had an issue. Um, but, you know, our relationship, I guess, got lost in the sauce. That's sad. It's sad. She's um, a really nice one. I should text her. Yeah. Uh, anywho, so I called her. I was like, come on, man, please. And she, like, within two minutes, she got the picture deleted. Within two minutes. I'm going to check after the podcast if it's, it's not back. There. Up. We checked. <laughs> Have you checked again? No, uh, but I don't think they would do that. They know I, I'm not there no, anymore. I'm going to check. So, yeah, I just felt like I, I gave so much to the people there, which taught me a lesson, um, too, alhamdulillah, that when you do something at a masjid, don't don't mind the people, you know, just you, you're there for the sake of Allah and for, for the da'wah. And at that point, I felt like the da'wah was lost in pleasing the Norwegian society. And a lot of... Muslims were being thrown under the bus for not accepting free mixing or not accepting music or not accepting, uh, you know, whatever. But at the same time, it I kind of feel bad because when I was a new Muslim, I was allowed to go to the masjid with my ripped jeans, my hair out and my t-shirt and nobody said nothing to me. So I That would probably have pushed you away. So exactly. Uh... So it's a balance but yeah but like i don't think we should shun anyone either way yep. you know what i mean whether you want to wear jilbab <laughs> and niqab go ahead or if you're a new muslim struggling and striving because i had no knowledge at the time like i literally came to this masjid and they like gave me a home mm -hmm. basically so that's the sad part because i feel like that was my family subhanallah and uh, don't push away niqabis but welcome what the yoga pants Yoga pants, yeah. Uh, stretching, uh, yoga pants. Yeah. yeah. So, at the end of the day, it was more like, it felt like less about the deen and more about publicity for, uh, from the masjid, you know what I mean? That they were more interested in publicity than, than that. But, you know, it's all love. I just can't be a part of that anymore. And I hope that, I hope that uh, things change. Because there are still like some people I know that are like really mashallah uh, that work there and strive for a better future. So inshallah the the change will come with the generations who take over, inshallah. Yeah. So that's all we can do and for now like we're I'm I'm at another masjid now. I'm at the, I'm with the Moroccans right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on bled. Shukran, shukran. Bladi. Okay, so uh, that was that. I wasn't really going to talk about that. I don't no, know why we started to talk about it. I don't it. even remember. I don't even. even no, I don't even. Yeah, next topic. Okay. So remember to check out our description box for the links of our Patreon and how to join our family. Thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate you. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching and that was all we had for now. Let us know what more content you guys want down in the comment section and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel if you already haven't. Love you guys so much. Thank you for your support. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.